Still got some corned beef left. Remember all that corned beef I bought last week or we got for a, a real great sale? Remember it was 99 cents a pound, I had lots of it. Well today, we're gonna make one in the Betty Crocker, five quart slow cooker crock pot. And then, after that cooks for eight hours, we're gonna put, put it in the Instant Pot, a similar one, four pounds, four pounds, and we're gonna do it for 90 minutes there, and we're gonna compare them. What does that sound like? And we're gonna have lots of good leftovers again. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for now. That's 4.2 pounds, and this is 4.0 pounds or something like that. Four, so that's why it was a couple cents different. Now this Betty Crocker crock pot is great and convenient too. Low cooker crock pot. I'm going to cut it, rinse it off a hair, rinse it off a little bit. Okay, I rinsed it off good. Some people, like my friend Brian, like to soak them overnight in water because uh, he says they're too salty. But I don't mind it. You can do that. I have a little tiny rack that came from one of my pressure cookers. I'm going to just put it in there just to stand it up a little bit off the heating elements. Okay, beautiful. That's it. Put it in. Get my uh, little spice pack that comes with it. Sprinkle it on. Spread it out evenly if we can. This is a good taste. You know. We love corned beef. We're going to have Rubens again for lunch at work this week. That's great. I don't care. We're going to have maybe some taters and vegetables. A couple meals. I believe uh, Kathy's going to make corned beef hash. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. And I'm going to put two cups of water in here. You know, lots of, lots you can do with corned beef. Especially eat it. I'm not eating it. Just two cups, two cups. Now don't rinse off your seasoning you just put on there. Maybe I should have put that in first, but that's okay. Two cups. See in the rack? Kept it off the bottom a little bit, so we get some steam agent cooking. You could also put raw potatoes and carrots and stuff in here, you can. And I did before, but I'm not gonna do it today. Put your lid on. We got low, high, and keep warm and off okay and it also has Chinese there low fabria high elevé and cucamonga right now I'm gonna put it on the low that's the way we go and I'm gonna take a nap and make me watch some TV and what time is it it's 8 30 a.m. okay so eight hours will be 4 30 am I right about that and then, I might even, st if I'm up, awake, I might start that about three o'clock. And we're gonna see, it's gonna be corned beef wars. Bitches. All right, I'll be back, let me take a nap. It's 3 p.m. How's it going in there? Not bad. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Now, we're gonna do the Instant Pot portion yeah same thing same size corned beef brisket rinse it off same way i have a, a little rack in here also which you don't really need the rack sometimes i put raw potatoes underneath there well not in the instant pot because it would disintegrate in 90 minutes but in a slow cooker crock pot i put potatoes in the bottom in the past and by the time that's done, they're definitely done. So you wouldn't need a rack if you put taters in there. Okay, now, the same, two cups of water. The same seasoning package, remember? Which we like a lot. We like a lot. Okay, it's been six and a half hours for the uh, slow cooker so far. We're going 90 minutes with the Instant Pot. Because we know how to do it, don't we? Yes, we do. 
You don't need many of these. It's a good flavor. Spread it around a little bit. I'd like more of them. Okay. Put the lid in this tinkling mode. Pressure back there. We're gonna go manual for 90 minutes. 90. That's what I want. So that's high pressure, can you see it? Manual for 90 minutes. Okay. And at 430, well, a little bit of time for the pressure to build up, so soon we're gonna be enjoying this. This one smells so delicious. So I tried to take a nap and I couldn't. Okay. Lots of good corned beef brisket leftovers this week. All right, I'll be back in about an hour and a half or more. And it's done. That was a long 90 minutes and a long day, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I hear you. I hear you. I know you're done. There. <laughs> All right, let's release the pressure. I'm not waiting for no natural release today. I'm too hungry. It's going to be good. Don't worry about it. Use my safety towel. All right, back in a minute. Pressure's out. You wanna look at it? Ooh, okay, now we're gonna compare these two, remember? Crock pot, instant pot. What do you think? Eight hours, two cups of water, 90 minutes, two cups of water. Hmm. What are we going to do about this? Hmm. We got some color on this one. Let me get some kind of implement. Fork. Let me just check them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a comparison. All right, let me get them out on two separate plates. Let me unplug that. Sure got a lot of juice in there, didn't it? Okay. Now, crock pot goes on a brown plate. If I can get it out without busting it up, it's going to be good. Now, remember, I could have potatoes and corn and peas and carrots if I want, but I just want some meat today. And the rest of the week. Try to get this out without breaking it. Ooh, if it breaks apart, it's a good sign, ain't it? It wants to. Oh, she. Oh, can you see it? Look. All right, but we're gonna cut against the grain. Remember, if we can, once it's too tender to even cut. Now, I got a white plate for the instant pot. So we remember who's who in the world of briskets. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. All right. There they are. There's definitely a difference. Okay. I'd say because this was eight hours and Half of it was out of the water, and this was steamed all around it, you know? So, they're both gonna be delicious, I know. Come over here to the table. I gotta eat them up. Mm. What do you think? So, like I said, we always cut against the grain. See the grain? If I can. I don't need a cutting board, because it's so tender. This is the slow cooker crock pot version got a little crust on top which i don't mind i might just eat chunks like this you know i could put them in a sandwich look at oh boy oh boy Ooga. all right this is a fall apart deliciousness see it 
scrumptious. I would eat that big chunk right there. I'm going to let it cool a little bit. Now, Instant Pot. How would you do? Hmm. See the green? So we cut this way, remember? Feels about the same consistency. But it seems to be staying together more. Why is that? Doesn't matter, does it? See it? But, you know it's still going to be real tender. Look at the difference there. Okay, let me take one piece of this. Instant Pot. See that? Look. Ooh. That's pretty good. Perfect. Now, almost left a piece of this with the brown bark on the top. All right, remember how that tasted. Hmm. Ooh. The crock pot is equally delicious and pretty full part tender, but to be honest, this actually melts the pressure cooker one. Okay. Because mm. it was under pressure, you know. Now, like I said, could have a meal. I ain't got all the fixings for that, but I do have these hamburger buns, so I'm going to make a nice sandwich, one of each, okay, see how these pieces I could just put in there, that's nice, see, it's nice, you like it, look, mm. Roxy wants some, Roxy hurt her leg, Running around, she slipped on the linoleum or the tile floor and tore a ligament. Poor thing, and she still keeps trying to walk. <laughs> you okay? Huh? I would have carried you out there. Don't you want to go in? Why you gotta hobble around like that? She still likes to stay outside. She insists on walking around. Come on, let me carry you. Okay? But she's gonna eat, and we're gonna sneak her medicine in there. Right? Look. Look at the difference. Crock pot, instant pot. Little mustard. Now, I'm not making a Reuben, which I'm gonna have later in the week. I'm gonna put some mustard. You can make these however you like. I got some pickles here. See? You don't even have to do this. You can make some potatoes and uh, vegetables on the side. You can put mayo on the bottom or the top. And I also have these chips on the side. Chip, 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 chip. And this cheesy, ouchie, woo, woo. That's queso, remember? Remember we've been on that Mexican kick for a week and a half? For the last month? Put them chips in that queso. Kathy made that, remember? I don't know if you saw her video. If you didn't, I'll put a link there. Queso. And queso, you didn't see it. Look, this is spicy with cheese in there. Peppers and... Uh, could even put that on the sandwich, huh? And put that in there. Oh, boy! Boy! Sorry, I didn't offer you a pickle. Mmm. Oh boy. With that mustard. Spicy brown mustard. Mmm. Alright. Let me remember what that tastes like. 
I'm gonna taste this one. Oh, that was a pressure cooker. This is crock pot, look at it. But you can make a nice brisket in your crock pot. Look at it. I got that not long ago, that Betty Crocker crock pot. And it comes with a carry bag that you can carry it around somewhere. Take it somewhere to a party or whatever. And you can buy that at a link down there. And you can buy the Instant Pot at the link. It's on sale, cheaper than I bought it, remember? And they got a five quart now, I see. Five, six, and eight quart they got. Brand new model. Not too expensive either. Mm. All right. Boy, that's good. I'm watching the NASCAR race. What a crash, huh? I paused it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a nice Sunday. Thanks for stopping by again. We'll get some brisket when they're on sale or anytime they're worth it. Talk to you later. Excuse me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna. Look, this could be, I could eat this all. I really could eat it all. But I'm not. I'm gonna save room for snacks for later. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.